Hey guys, I just made a video about Cloyster and how you can solo the Samurai Raid with that. But I found a Pokemon that's easy, even it's easier to solo with, and it's absolutely amazing. It's a Pokemon we just used. It's Belly Bolt. Okay, so what you're going to want to do, you're going to take a look at your Belly Bolt. You're going to want to make, make sure that he has the Magnet because we're going to be using Parabolic Charge the whole time. And the Magnet will increase the electric damage. You're going to want to give him max special attack, max, max HP, and then give him an Iron for defense. You want the moves Electric Terrain, Thunderbolt, Acid Spray, and Parabolic Charge. Acid Spray, we can maybe throw in there every once in a while, but really, we're just going to start hitting him with Parabolic Charges. The other trick is you need an Intimidator. As I've said in all of the ones before, you need one Intimidator because you need to frequently lower his attack because he crits a lot, but even when he doesn't crit, um, when, or when he doesn't crit, that uh, extra damage that is taken off from Intimidate is huge. So we're gonna get into the battle right away and we're just gonna start firing off Parabolic Charges until we can get our, uh, our Terra off. Um, I was just trying a bunch of different Pokemon, and I said, okay, let's try Belly Bolt. I know it isn't the type advantage, but let's see. Okay, we have an Intimidator. That's fantastic. We're just going to start throwing off uh, Parabolic Charges because it's just going to keep recovering our health. Maybe we can give it the Shell Bell, too, if we want to make sure we get enough, but we're just going to start throwing off Parabolic Charges like this. He's probably going to crit with this Mega Horn. Okay, no big deal. We're going to recover all the health. Yep, there's a crit with the Mega Horn. As you can see, yeah, it did quite a bit of damage, but we're going to get quite a bit of damage done here with this Parabolic Charge, and it's going to keep us out of crit range, okay? We get enough where if he crits us again, we're not going to die. Okay, Bulldoze, yeah, that could do some damage. It's going to lower our speed, but it was a critical hit, but we're still out of crit range for the next attack. Our speed fell, yes, that's not ideal but it is what it is so we get our electromorphosis going we're going to throw off another parabolic charge right here he's going to use probably mega horn he's probably going to crit um which is okay because we're in safe range oh he didn't crit either okay see the intimidates are really really helping out here uh throw off another parabolic charge get our health is up as much as possible we're out of crit range and i think that's our third parabolic charge He's going to go into his shield now. He's going to nullify our abilities, which isn't ideal, but it is what it is. Because now we can um, start using, we can terastalize and start using parabolic charges. So we're just going to, oh, my terror needs one more attack. Dang it, my bad. Okay, I need to use a parabolic charge again right here. He's going to use Mega Horn. Uh, he didn't crit, which is huge. We're out of crit range again. Okay, we're going to do a little damage right now with that. That's not going to do much damage at all. Um, we're going to regain like 18 health. But now, now we can terastalize. And now that we terastalize, we're going to be gaining a lot health, lot of health back very quickly. Um, because of being the terror type. And of course, Parabolic Charge heals you by like 50% of the damage that you deal. And let me tell you, the timer, you're going to have so much time in this, it's criminal. In fact, you could probably faint once and still be okay. Okay, here comes a drill run. Uh, super effective, a critical hit, but we survived because we had we had enough health, okay? So now we're just going to throw off another Parabolic Charge, get as much health back as possible. There is a situation in which you could potentially use Acid Spray and survive. Um, we're probably in crit range right here. Let's hope we get lucky. He's going to use Mega Horn. Okay, good. He didn't crit, which is great. We're going to regain back even more health right now, which is going to allow us to be even safer in crit range. And I know we're not doing a lot of damage uh, consistently, but we're doing enough to get us back to where we're safely out of crit range. We could probably, like I said, you could probably throw an Acid Spray in there at some point in time. I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to keep using Parabolic Charge because we're just going to keep recovering health over and over. Okay, wow. Okay, critical hit down to 30. Not ideal. We get our Electromorphosis going. And let's see. Okay, enough damage. Can we get enough damage done to keep us out of crit range? Uh, probably not, but we're going to have to hope that he doesn't crit. Here comes another Parabolic Charge right here. 
he missed with the drill run okay there probably is a little bit of luck involved in this run uh but it it goes a lot quicker and makes it a lot easier than when you do it with cloister um we're out of crit range again we're just going to keep throwing off parabolic charges um you might want to raise the parabolic charge pp it only has 20 but it's going to be you're going to want to consistently use it again he's not critting his shield should go down here parabolic charge this will take down his shield for sure boom okay shields down we're going to recover enough health to be safe for the rest of the battle he's going to nullify our abilities again here um let's see should we try an acid spray no he's going to remove negative effects from himself first so we're just going to use another parabolic charge uh, to do as much damage as possible we are going to get to a point where we're going to want to use an acid spray but we're definitely going to want to wait until he there until he does this nullified the abilities he probably is going to remove effect. okay we're going to try an acid spray right now actually he's going to use mega horn this could hurt a little bit it did this is the situation where the uh where the parabolic charge might have been necessary but we're going to lower his special defense enough now where if he doesn't crit and we just got it okay now we might be in trouble now we might be in a little trouble because he removed the effect from himself we got an intimidate off shit okay we died okay that's okay we're gonna come back into battle we fainted no big deal the um staraptor is gonna keep giving off the intimidates and we're going to start with an acid spray right away. We need to build up the intimidates and hope that he doesn't crit. But let's see how we can do here. He's paralyzed. Perfect. Let's throw an acid spray out there. And now we're just going to keep throwing off parabolic charges. Mega horn. Okay, he's been intimidated uh, enough where his sword stance has basically disappeared. Um... couldn't move because it's paralyzed that's very ideal but he's been acid sprays he's not going to remove negative effects again from himself guys he's not going to remove negative effects effects again and see we can we're doing quite a bit of damage actually with that samurai couldn't move because he was paralyzed that's very ideal and now just keep throwing off those parabolic charges that acid spray is huge in fact if we get to a point we can maybe use another acid spray i don't know if we're going to need to because he's also taking chip damage from the other um from the other other pokemon and even though he's critting us we are using parabolic charge enough where uh, we're going to regain all of that health back See, there we go. Back to 422. Back to 422. Crit me all you want, dude. Use Drill Run all you want. I get an attack off every time. Drop to 190. He's charging me with power. Just throw off Parabolic Charges. That's all we got to do. Keep throwing off those Parabolic Charges. Of course, the Magnet helps us tremendously here because we're getting extra damage from Parabolic Charge. In fact, this whole battle has been parabolic charges and that's just the situation you're into he, he has drill run um which is super effective against us and even with a critical hit it takes us into a situation where we're gonna be okay and what's great is you can fate once you can fate once in this run and you're gonna be just fine um I absolutely love that we can do this with Belly Bolt, a Pokemon that we've already used, uh, and it makes it easy. You know, and he doesn't crit all the time, and this last Parabolic Charge is going to finish him off. Oh, he's finished off right now. So there you go, guys. You can die. There was really no threat of losing via the time. It That's just how easy it can be with belly bolt you can faint once and still survive just keep throwing off parabolic charges so there you have it guys the easiest way to solo the samurai raid is actually with the pokemon we've already used before please like the video leave a comment and uh, stay tuned for more videos to come